I'm Vladimir Gershov from uh, University College London Mallard Space Science Laboratory. We are working in, in the European Frame uh, Work Package uh, 7 project called iMars. And so this was uh, presented yesterday, and here it's uh, one uh, thing which we are going uh, to do with, mar uh, with the data for diff different uh, resolution imagery to process the data and create uh, uh, digital terrain models. These are the main objectives of the iMARS project, which were uh, explained. So the main uh, objective is to understand better the evolution of Mars and to see, to, to trace changes. But for that purpose, you need to have a very uniform uh, kind of system f for different missions, different uh, instruments, different resolution, and so on. Uh, that's why we we are creating a, a processing system uh, within this project uh, to uh, use HRSC as a basis for these all different resolution images. And uh, of course, it will be based on molar data, making it uniform. And uh, based on these uh, DTMs, we are going to, uh, for, for the first, uh, produce CTX and high-rise high uh, DTMs and auto-rectified images, uh, which then can be compared with each other, will be more uniform. In this uh, um, assessment, we, we are using two different uh, schemes. One is based on non-rigital sensor model without using uh, spicy kernels, but we use, use spicy kernels for initial data processing. And another, which uh, is based on uh, ISIS and AMIS stereo pipeline, uh, and we were comparing these uh, two things to, to see which is working better and so on. So in the first, we are using non-rigorous uh, uh, non, uh, sensor model uh, creating a uh, polynomials to f uh, adjust images uh, with each other and with uh, the reference uh, DTM. Then we will generate uh, uh, the kind of artificial sensor model and uh, create point cloud and then output DTM. Here, in the second part, we use the left and right image. We adjust them to the reference images from HRC. We, uh, this will be next talk how it is done, then we uh, use a stereo matcher from uh, AMIS stereo pipeline or any other stereo, uh, we're still thinking about improving. Then we create the disparity map point cloud and DTM, which we uh, align with the reference DTM from HRSC. So th there is a uh, subtle difference and we were checking which one is better. So this is just showing uh, the test, one of the test sites, which is MSL test site showing CTX, uh, high rise, uh, CTX high rise on, on top of HRSC. Uh, and then this is uh, just, uh, you see how uh, HRC and CTX slightly misaligned, but practically they're okay. Then this is uh, showing that uh, uh, high rise is misaligned with CTX even much more. Uh, so this should be uh, adjusted uh, first in the system. This is done by using uh, image recognition, pattern recognition, creating a lot of reference points in uh, HRC with respect to CTX and then aligning CTX to HRC. This, uh, then, uh, this uh, are different uh, system. We were using also socket set uh, uh, DTMs to compare with uh, AMIS stereo pipeline based and our non-rigorous sensor model based. They look very similar, but actually when you compare them, you see a lot of, uh, this is just the difference between them, and you see dispersion, and you see some differences, and this is uh, kind of main differences, okay? And you see that uh, we have chosen, uh, actually, this is the differences. We have chosen this uh, system which is uh, based on a mystery pipeline, which is simpler, because the first system is working okay, but it is not as robust. It's uh, the re uh, rational polynomial sometimes became singular and then they're diverging and creating problems. So it cannot be used for processing thousands of images, which we are going to do. For uh, more robust system is based on AMIS. This is an example of ExoMars uh, processing, making them uniform, they're aligned with each other very well. So it's uh, uh, going to, do, to be this year when we, we should uh, be finishing this processing. Uh, starting in, at the end of this summer. Thank you.